to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day look. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop right into this. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, the Matte Poreless one in the shade 130 Buff Beige. And I'm dotting it all over my face and blending it out with a brush that I got from this Amazon store called Kiss Emoji. And the brushes were very inexpensive and so far they're working great. And I will be talking more about them in a haul video soon. Next for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer and I will be dotting it under my eyes and blending it all out with a beauty blender. And I'm using the beauty blender to just go over my entire face just to blend out things even more. Next for powder, I'm using this new mineral compact powder by Sherry Moya, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And this is the best powder I have tried, I believe, ever. I haven't used too many powders, but so far this one I love. I got it in the color, I believe, natural, and I really, really like it. It gives your face such a flawless finish. And then I'm just going to put it specifically with the smaller brush on the parts that I get the most oiliness. And then with a big brush, I'm going all over my face. For eyebrows, I'm just combing them and I'm using the Clinique Super Fine Liner for Brows in the shade 02 Soft Brown. And once again, this is one of the best brow pencils I have used. It's like very powderly like when you put it on. It does not budge at all. It'll stay throughout the whole day and I'm using it very um, sparsely because my eyebrows are pretty thick on their own. There's just like little areas I would just like to darken up. So I don't do anything too dramatic. I just fill up little tiny parts. And I'm using the Anastasia Brow Gel to keep them in place. And ta-da! Eyebrows on fleek! Next I'm taking the Carly Bible Palette and this palette has so many gorgeous colors. I'm taking the lightest shade and putting it all over my lids so it sort of serves like a base. And then I'm going to take the second lightest color and put it on my crease to define it and make it darker. And then I'm just going to kind of go along the row and keep adding the darker colors on my crease and focusing like on the outer big corner to define them and make it darker. And then with the fluffy brush, I'm blending everything out. And to make it even darker, I'm going to be taking the LOC by Tati. Who doesn't love Tati? I love her videos. And this creamy eyeshadow stick is what I'm using to make like a little bee. And then I'm blending it out with my finger, which I believe is the best way because it is a creamy product and it just works a lot easier like that. The last eyeshadow palette I will be using is from the Ammo by Urban Decay. And I'm using the color called Last Call, which is a really pretty purpley violet color and I'm dipping it in water just to make it more vibrant and I'm putting it in the center of my lid and to make it even more glittery I'm using this pigment glitter by Ulta and it is in the color icing which is just a really pretty pink color and to clean up any eyeshadow fallout I'm using the beauty blender and some concealer and lastly, to brighten up our eyes, I'm taking again the Carly Bubble palette and picking a gold shade and putting that in the inner corners and also I'm taking the lighter shade and putting that under my eyebrows just to give them a little bit more of a pop. To line my eyes, I'm taking the Maybelline Line Stiletto and I always do my eyeliner different and this time I decided to make it as dramatic as I could and as I can because I'm no expert with eyeliner. But I tried from the very, very inner corner, which I don't do often, and then I connected it with a line for a wing. And to make the eyes even more dramatic, I'm taking the darkest purple color in the Carly Bible palette and putting it underneath my eyes. And for mascara, I'm using the Neutrogena Healthy Volume, which I got a little sample of and I love it. And I'm putting on a few coats on each eye. Now for bronzing and contouring, I'm using the Coco Contour by Too Faced and I'm taking the bronzing color and putting it all over my face, my cheeks, my forehead, underneath my chin and then I'm using the darker color, the contour color and putting that underneath my cheekbones. 
To add color back to the face, I'm using the e.l.f. blush palette and I'm using the lightest color and putting it on my cheeks. And last minute, I decided to add some white eyeliner to my waterline just to open up the eyes even more and make them look whiter. And for the final step, we're going to be focusing on our lips. So I'm going to be lining them. It's not necessary, but I just wanted something so that I wouldn't, you know, trace out of the line. So I'm using it just as a little stencil. And then I'm taking the color pop in the color silk, a lippy stick, I believe. And it is a very nice, like, cranberry dark red color and I'm adding it to the lips. Okay, I lied. One more final step is to highlight the face. So I'm using the Carly Bible palette again and using the second highlight color and adding it onto my cheeks. And don't forget your cupid's bow because it makes all the difference. Now moving on to hair, I'm taking down my hair from my headband. I'm going to be brushing it and combing it. And it was already done, it was previously curled, so I still wanted to do something a little bit different that's so like very romantic and looks really cute. So I'm just pinning back my hair um, from my face and it just gives it a very youthful, really girly look. It is from zaffle.com and I'll have a link down below to where you can find it and I find this so so cute It looks like a dress, but it's actually a really comfy romper and I'm wearing a tank top underneath it Which kind of takes away from it because it's so beautiful, but it was so cold outside It's a little bit low cut and the back is completely open and it's just gorgeous If you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye